And let me tell you why. It's because I just left APC. Everybody is tired. Anybody, any well-meaning Nigeria who has conscience, who is truthful to him or herself, knows that APC and PDP is game over for them. Because, you see, you cannot keep lying to people over and over. Yes, my obedient family as the hot you don't have to know. Even if the talk say we know if we do be bought for Peter B or roadside banner for Peter B, Peter B remains in our heart. And you see this social media so now we go you say do the campaign since no one will do be bought. This social media so now we say do everything for Peter B. Now people ask you to watch this video, please watch the share this video. If not share, that means that you don't want to be popular for Nigeria and you don't want the people we know make Nigeria better. You see PDP and APC. This one an end game for now because we the youth, our eyes don't open. We are tired of being used as talks for election. Look at using our children because our children go there abroad. They will become doctors and lawyers. They will become CEO of different companies. Why we now come make us act borrow for Nigeria? We now come make us uh, 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 and people when they collect tickets after election finish. We the youth now APC and PDP people they used before to they ring election, but now our eyes don't open. Enough is enough. The other two move us. Now, make we talk to them, we will vote the man of Peter Obi. I think we not talk too much. We can watch this video from this our person. And after that, watch and finish, and I can see the one million match will happen for Anabra today because Anabra does declare saying that Peter Obi get the full Anabra. Yes, Anabra is now fully obedient. As I'm watching, please don't forget to share. If you not share, that means that you don't want the problem for Nigeria and you don't want the person. Let me say, no one made this country better when I watch them. You see, Uncle Charles, there's never been a time in the history of Nigeria where people, on their own accord, nobody is bribing them or inducing them with money. They came out on their own in their millions to talk about our candidate, Peter Obi. How do you know they came out in their millions? They came out in their millions because we saw all the one million man match across the country. Yeah, but that, it's organic. that wasn't necessarily one million people. It doesn't matter, but you see, they came out for one in million. In large numbers. In large numbers. Right, and okay. they came out, nobody paid them. This has never, ever happened in the history of the country. And let me tell you why. I just left APC. Everybody is tired. Anybody, any well-meaning Nigeria who has conscience, who is truthful to him or herself, knows that APC and PDP is game over for them. Because, you see, you cannot keep lying to people over and over. You cannot, you see, you saw the mass population, the youth that came out. These are the youth that the old parties have used in the past, you know, and they're saying, go and use your children. You can't keep your children in Switzerland, you can't keep your children in Dubai, in America, you know, in Banana Island, and you expect us to keep fighting for you when you don't even care about our future. You, 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 you don't even care about us. And I'm from Borno State. One thing you need to know, go and check, and you see these things are there. I can assure you that majority, if not all, of the people following Peter Obi and Dati, they are doing it at their own accord. Look at me. I left my business. I run the biggest aircraft maintenance facility in across the entire yeah, West and Central Africa. I have my own airline. Right. But I left all that comfort. How many youth today, whether old or young, in all those parties can boast? They are, most of them are there to benefit. And you see, we are okay with it. We in Labour Party, we are okay because you see, all the kind of money and the resources that is being shared is mostly, mostly stolen fund. Because nobody will actually work hard with, you know, work hard, earn money, and be given thousands of dollars to delegate. It, it doesn't happen anywhere in the world. But you see, when that money is not yours, you will spend it as if you don't care. You know, and this is money that belongs to the Nigerian people. This is money that belongs to you and I. That is why we have no good road. We have no good hospitals. We know that after every 10 years, Cameroon will release the dam and there will be flood. What did you do about it? Years over years, decade over decade, there's no plan at all. This is the only country where people, you know, you keep the student at home for about eight months and you don't care. So for us, the issue of Labour Party is survival of Nigeria. We're not doing this thing. I've not been to my state, my village, freely to Borno State, Borno South, in the last 10 years. It's not a joke, but we're not talking about, about, about money. That is why for anybody who, is, who has conscience, who is sensible, this is not time to talk about what you benefit. Right, okay. We are in Labour Party. We know that the party, by the way, the party is, is, has been on since 2002. It's an old party. It belongs to civil servants, yes, mostly workers. You know, it's not that popular. But let me tell you this, everybody is tired. Everybody right. is tired. Okay. And that is why we're here today. Anybody who 
says that Peter Obi is an old order. The person knows his self-deceit is lying to him or herself. It's obvious. I mean, go and check it out. Let me just tell you this, sir. The Labour Party have Peter Obi and Dati. These are not people that are saying, it is my term, it is my right. In fact, they acknowledge that the popularity in the last three, four months and the acceptability is not even their effort. They acknowledge that. And you can see there's no who in two, three, four months will have such level of followership. Let me tell you this. Nigerians are running through Obi and Dati. The other people feel it is their right. They feel this country belongs to them. They feel nobody can do it. They feel money can do it. But we have Obi and Dati saying, we cannot do this thing. Your children need to go to good schools. And they have proven it. Our vice president, this is somebody who as a senator, former senator, he's built one of the biggest hospitals in, Af in, in West Africa. He has one of the most successful and accomplished university, Bayes University, still counting. As an individual, he did that. Our, His Excellency uh, Peter Obi, hopefully by the grace of God, the incoming president, it is obvious. He never said he wasn't part of PDP or APC. He left because he couldn't stand it anymore. He said, Nigerians, it is your time to take back this country. You, he, 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 he said, hold me accountable. You see, the problem is that we cannot do the, the same thing over and over and expect a different result. You and I agree that there's no difference between APC and PDP. His Excellency Peter Obi, mm. who, when he was a governor, today he is talking about consumption to production. You can see what he has done with even innocent motors. He believes in local content. Let me tell you what I've not actually told you before. You know what he did, the numbers of cars he allowed Innocent to produce. Today, Innocent is doing so well because of that push by the state government. He paid him upfront to, and demand delivered. Today, let me tell you this. I've not said this to anybody. Last year, December, His Excellency, our vice, president, uh, our vice presidential candidate, Yusuf Dati, was to send his private jet to UK for annual maintenance. Then he heard that there is a company in Lagos doing maintenance. This man is a Fulani man. I'm a Christian from Borno State. He never asked what is this guy's tribe or anything. He said, if there's a local company doing it, he asked the captain to stop, to, to suspend the flight plan. He said, fly my aircraft to Nigeria. I was told that a Nigerian company does this job. These are people that people will be prove it with innocent motors. And he believes that we can move from consumption to production. He never denied that he is somebody who is into production, but he said it's better, it is the future. Mm. And that T. Baba Ahmed has proven it by taking job meant for the expatriate community in UK. That job alone fed about 20 families in Lagos State. I'm talking about high paying jobs as aeronautical aircraft engineers. These are the kind of people that we have doing okay. this whole thing. And you see, he's talking about agriculture. He has broken it down already. You know, the issue of, of education. Mm. You're talking about the same APC that, that, that that the Almagiri schools that were built, they came and they closed it down. You see, you know what Peter Obi did? He moved from about average to number one in Jam and Waek. These are, these are verifiable evidence. He did it. So it's not about when he's saying he's coming to ensure that we are top in education, in production. We have seen what he's done. And amongst all of them, right. we've, we've seen people that are selling things to themselves because they had the red pen. We've seen people that almost all the land, you know, in the state that they govern is virtually in their names or in the names of their cronies. They've empowered people that are close to them, you know. And there's no equity and justice. We've okay. seen His Excellency Peter Obi. He has been so fair and just that our candidate is not glorifying poverty. This is somebody who took one one million and gave to graduates. Who has done that in this country? This is somebody who moved his state to number one in education. I mean, these are verifiable facts. When you talk about youth, today, out of the six in the last list released by the party, Labour Party, out of the top six management team, I, Balami, Isaac, David, I am on the top management team. How many, how many youth below 40, like myself, has any of those parties put at that level? That is one. If you look at the structure where I am in Labour Party, with where he is, he is low, 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 low below. Because Labour Party well, understands we that. Labour Party understands that very, very well. And let me tell you this. Over 40% of our campaign, uh, our presidential campaign council are all women. We're not joking. Come and see the level of youth participation. You see what his... Ex Yesterday, His Excellency was on Zoom for about three hours. 
by the time he was done, the meeting was over. He said, please, I'm giving 30 more minutes. Let me hear about, let me hear more from, from the women. So what you've just said now, you know, um, you see, Uncle Charles. You can just call me Charles. Yeah, Charles. Let me just tell you this. Our principal have been very, very clear on non-violence campaign. Every day, even yesterday, he talked about it. Mm. Even yesterday, to the support groups, about 900 people participated in that meeting. Let me tell you this. Nigeria, the Labour Party youth or the obedient youth are even patient. This is the only country. Go to what costs about the crisis in the Middle East. Five percent increase of bread alone will cause problem. You kept them at home. This same APC kept our youth at home for eight months, and they want them to clap for them. So you think they have a right to be angry? They have the right to be angry. Yeah, but not to attack. No, they're not attacking. Let me tell you this. No, but to, to, not, to be to be APC, fair, we, we they're, not actually, necessary. they're not physically attacking. They're not attacking people, physically. But they let are say, attacking let people let say this, on, on, on the APC internet. APC did a casket on of, social media. APC did a casket of President Goodluck Jonathan. Yeah. Has Obedient done that to anybody? Even when they are going for medical treatment, have we done that? Yeah, but let but, me tell but, but they so, are so, pitching this political fight as an apocalyptic battle between good they and evil. They are only scared. They are and, only and, scared. And, and surely you must see that when you do that, when you pitch the battle as big, this is good, the, the, this is evil, it, it employs the kind of language that could be used to incite people. Let me just tell you this. Our principal is clear about non-violence. Even yesterday he talked about it to about 800 conveners of mm. support groups. He was... He was no, I'm sure it. he doesn't support. But let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. What I'm saying is that <laughs> these people in APC, you see, they expect Nigerian youth to clap for them despite 33% people are on the street without jobs. Despite all the hardship, you are a poor person, they kidnap you or they kidnap your loved ones. Even when you want to build the city, you are even going against the law. So many things is just wrong. Nigerian youth are even patient. I have never yeah. seen youth in the world that are this patient. Let me tell you this. APC did worse to PDP. Anywhere you see PDP or APC gathered, they're only discussing Peter Obi. Let's be realistic. I've bumped into their meeting not once, not twice. They, are, they, they know because everything is organic. Do you know that we went to Nasarawa? The venue, which is illegal, right? The venue for Nasarawa rally flag off. The venue was denied. They kept frustrating us 24 yeah, that, hours. That is wrong. 24 that hours to the flag off was when we got approval. We yeah. had to go to the area of Lafia to get approval to use the football field. Where our principal will land with the helicopter, they frustrated us and delayed us. All this drama is going on. We're not even talking. Did our youth fight the government of Nasarawa? We did not. So much is going on. Mm. Are you with me? Okay, there are states where APC, he's yeah. talking here, even to have billboard, they're blocking us. Yeah, that, that is... They're scared. They're, they're integrated well, already. I, I haven't... But I, guess what our supporters told us, Charles? Right. I, they I, said, sir, even if they block us in APC and PDP state, Peter Obi and Dati are in our heart. They said that. Yeah, well, they I have that. to say that I... So we, the people of this local government, this is the whole local government of Mr. Putin. Seeing what Nigerians are doing with our son, that is the person who saw a myriad of problems facing this country. We came out today to show that it's our son in whom we are well placed. We are going to give him the support. This is his territory. This zone, Anambra State is because this territory and the governor here, eight years, and he did very well here. And that's what is going to replicate in Nigeria. So Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, will give P2B maximum support to complement the support the rest of Nigeria is already giving him. So that he will become this president that is very important for the life of Nigeria. That's what we have done today. And we pray that God will see him through. He started this journey for him and he will bring it to a successful end for the good of Nigeria. Because if he becomes president, Nigeria will be thanked. Nigeria will be known for the country that has very good leadership.